Hello friends, today I will discuss about open circuit test of a three phase power transformer. Before going through this video, you are requested to please go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for not notification of videos to be uploaded in future. The arrangement for open circuit test for a three phase power transformer has been shown in this diagram. Here primary is Y connected and secondary or LV side is the delta connected. Primary is a voltage class 132 kV and secondary or LV side is the 33 kV voltage class. Transformer rating is 50 MBA. Now three phase supply is given from a, a three phase pulse generator. Uh, here uh, LV side that is delta side is 33 kV. Therefore from the pulse generator 33 kV voltage supply has been given. This test is mainly done at factory uh, since um, factory to measure the recorded no load losses. Now no load current and no load losses are measured by the secondary input of PT and secondary input of the CT connected in the each phase as shown in this diagram. In the arrangement as shown in this diagram the uh, PT ratio uh, is 66 kb by uh, 100 volt and that is uh, ratio is uh, 600 and uh, ct ratio is 1 is to 1 since uh, ct uh, current will be very less and that is why ct ratio is used as 1 is to 1 now three phase uh, supply has been given for the pulse generator that is of the order of 33 kb and um, voltmeter uh, and wattmeter and ammeter is connected uh, as shown in this diagram w1 is the wattmeter for uh, red phase w2 is the wattmeter connected in the y phase w3 is the wattmeter connected in the v phase and uh, a represent as the ammeter b represent as the voltmeter ammeter connected in the all phases in the secondary of the ct and uh, watt meter are connected by input of current uh, and PT secondary as shown in this diagram. Since primary is open circuited, the current taken from the LV side is the very minimum that is called the no load current to magnetize the core. Here um, no load current is very minimum that is why copper losses uh, will be very less. The mainly loss is the iron loss. In case of uh, open circuit uh, test, since high voltage side is kept open, no load current will flow in the LV side or uh, delta side of the power transformer. No load current uh, is I0 is uh, nothing but the magnetizing um, current of the um, transformer. Since I0 is very small, uh, therefore the copper loss will be negligible in case of uh, open circuit test of the power transformer. Therefore, uh, summation of uh, W1, W2, W3 shows the core loss or iron loss uh, for the power transformer. Normally, this test is done at nominal tap that is at tap position 9. Since PT ratio is 600 and CT ratio is 1, multiplication factor for watt meter uh, is uh, 600. Now this uh, test is done at 90% of rated voltage, 100% of the rated voltage and 110% of the rated voltage. Generally from the pulse transformer, uh, pulse generator, the voltage is uh, gradually increased and at 90% uh, rated voltage and 100% rated voltage and 110% rated voltage uh, the current uh, in each phase um, is recorded and also the watt meter uh, uh, watt meter measurement is recorded for each phases in this table for the 90% rated voltage the rated voltage is 29.749 kV here the phase wise current is shown as uh, IU, IV and IW, IV, IU is the uh, rate phase current that is 
4 to 9 ampere IV is the Y phase current or Euler phase current that is 0.342 ampere and IW is the uh, blue phase current that is 0.267 ampere there is therefore the average uh, magnetizing current is I equal to 0.3459 ampere watt meter recording for uh, red phase is 11.608 uh, and watt meter uh, recording for uh, Y phase is 9.366 and W3 is uh, 6.923. Therefore, the average, uh, uh, therefore, summation of the reading is 27.896. It is the secondary reading of the watt meter. Therefore, if we multiply in the multiplication factor by 600, then we get the uh, total no load losses at 90% uh, uh, voltage rating that comes to 16.738 kilowatt. Similarly, at 100% rated voltage that is 33.052 kV, the average magnetizing current comes to 0.3828 uh, ampere and uh, summation of the watt meter reading comes as uh, 34.204 Zero 05 uh, watt and, uh, and that is the in kilowatt it is 20.523 kilowatt similarly at 110 percent rated voltage uh, that is at voltage at 36.353 kV the average magnetizing current comes as 0.4266 ampere and summation of the watt meter reading comes as 41.627 watt or in uh, actual 24.976 kilowatt now you can see that uh, when the voltage is gradually increased from 90 percent to 100 percent to 110 percent the magnetizing current increases and also the no load losses increases therefore the no load losses is uh, almost uh, proportional to the voltage of the uh, transformer since in the open circuit test no load current is very less uh, that is uh, comes as uh, 0.3828 ampere at 100% uh, applied uh, rated voltage therefore the i square r loss will be uh, negligible and therefore in no load losses uh, at uh, rated voltage w0 is 20.523 kilowatt no load current I0 is uh, 0 0.3828 uh, ampere. We can get uh, the no load uh, power factor cos phi is equal to W0 by 1 point uh, root 3 v into V0 into I0, which comes to uh, cos phi equal to 0 0.937, that is phi is equal to 20.4 degree. From this, we can draw the phasor diagram. Uh, that is one component is IM for magnetizing uh, current uh, and uh, another component is IC in phase with uh, V0 as shown in the phasor diagram no, that is called the no load resistive current IC equal to I0 cos phi that is equal to 0.359 ampere and no load magnetizing current IM equal to I0 sin phi that is equal to 0.133 ampere. From the above, we can get the RC as the no load uh, resistance as V0 by IC, which comes to 33.05 kV by 0.359, that is equal to 92.06 kilo ohm. And XM is equal to magnetizing reactance uh, at uh, no load, uh, which comes to uh, V0 by IM, that is equal to 33.05 by. 0.33 that is equal to uh, 248.49 kilo ohm therefore from the uh, open circuit test we can get the uh, no load losses at rated voltage and from the no load losses uh, we can get the loss component of the resistance and also the magnetizing reactance of the uh, power transformer in the next video, we will discuss about the short circuit test and how the percentage impedance can be calculated from the short circuit test.